all right what is going on my dudes we are back here today with gore the god butcher except this guy has received a little bit of a buff in today's update so this is going to be very exciting to talk about today because as you guys might know gore has been my most wanted champion to enter mcoc since the day i downloaded the freaking app man and he was added and let's be real i was a bit of a grumpy gus during my first gore video because you know i was kind of saying like i feel like he's going to be the first champion released this year in the new balance program who needs a buff and lo and behold here we are six months later with the gore buff so hey man it's all in the past we're just gonna talk about gore of today now my gore is rank 4 sig 20 on the live server so that's what we're gonna be messing with today i have a bunch of footage to show you but first things first let's go over exactly what has changed shout out to our buddy cat murdoch who once again has come through with a beautiful graphic so everything in green is the new okay and the red is the old not much has changed, but oh my goodness gracious, it impacts many things. So, first things first, his undermine buff in his SIG ability at SIG 200, it goes up to a max of 16 seconds. That is a long time, okay? So, it used to be up to 9 seconds at SIG 200. Now, at SIG 20, it is higher than that. It is 10 seconds. So, just SIG 20 really is enough for this guy. Now, he used to, like, need to want max SIG, not anymore okay on top of that the big part here this is the big thing the only thing that's really changing shadow magic buff the duration is increasing from 20 seconds to 30 seconds that is a very big difference that is a 50 percent additional duration change that is huge because when gore was released the biggest thing was like oh man if only his buffs lasted a little bit longer then he'd be like usable he'd be better oh man if only like you know um maybe you hit the opponent and they pause for 0.2 seconds like that would be better 50 percent increased duration is much more than i ever wanted for this right don't get me wrong i'll take it i'll take even more duration but that is instantly making him so much less stressful to play and that was the biggest issue with him is like if the defender didn't cooperate it's not really going to work out too well if the defender did cooperate then yeah you're probably going to have a good time with pre-buff gore right especially if you're out of high sick but now he doesn't need that that super mega ultra beyond god tier ai cooperation okay now on top of this the um max stack of the shadow boss has been capped out as four that's totally fine um you're never going to need more than four that is 12 debuffs per medium medium combo that is a lot of damage over time from all these things okay so we're going to jump right into it today now um yeah let's just jump into it man so there are a lot of different ways to play gore and i'm going to show you a bunch of different rotations and, and ways to use him and styles to use him um that we're going to be going over today okay so first things first we'll go up against our deadpool here in uh in act in 6.4.1 all right and this is gonna we're gonna go for like the old school rotation this is the rotation that i came up with back in the day uh for the initial gore video okay so basically what you like to do here is you like to go for your light ending combos and build up your shadow magic buffs at least two stacks okay now it's very feasible to get to three stacks at this point right here in the old gore you see how that bleed debuff that first bleed up bleed debuff is only halfway gone right that bleed debuff was like almost gone you had to really rush to special two and you have to get that special two off right so now there's a lot of breathing room here as you can see okay so at this point we're gonna actually build up another one because why the heck not why the heck not we're gonna bait out a special two from this guy we're gonna go for a another one we got to three we got to three 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 and we have a lot of breathing room on that bleed at this point we're heading into his block to stack three debuffs up if he doesn't have the debuffs you have to go for a medium medium combo before going for this special two that's gonna give you four furies one fury initially and then one more for each uh debuff on him at this point we're gonna be stacking up those debuffs with medium medium combos going for the special Special one to pause the fury refresh the fury and pause your shadow magic buffs okay and as you can see he is absolutely melting heavy attack to shoot up to the special three and i mean deadpool's dead but let's say he had another hundred thousand health this special three would still kill him okay so he has a hundred like a hundred and eighty thousand health here this deadpool right hundred fifty thousand if he had two hundred fifty thousand he would be dead so this is a perfect example of like how a battlegrounds fight would go with this guy 
okay? Um, because like that special three is potent, especially with all those debuffs, okay? Now let's go ahead and see that rotation against Winter Soldier. Now I have the Venom Relic attached here, but I'm not going to unattach the Relic because it like costs units to put it back on. Okay, so I'm not gonna do that. I'm just not gonna use the Relic button. I think all we're gaining here from the Relic itself is like slightly, slightly increased critical damage rating when he's bleeding. Just ignore it. It's like, it, it, it's, it's gonna be unnoticeable. The big thing here is the damage over time and also the special three damage, okay? So, um, there also might be a little bit uh, extended bleed duration, which is like, going to be messing with like the overall viewing of his debuffs, but regardless, doesn't really matter. Um, yeah, so here we're doing the same rotation, then we're going to show a different rotation, okay? So, um, the buffs on you are paused during his special attacks, which is great, but as you can see, we're going for the exact rotation that we went for against Deadpool. We got the shadow magic buffs, we got the fury, and now we're going for the special one to pause those buffs and refresh the furies. And now at this point, I'm gonna stack on debuffs with my medium, medium combos, okay? And once I have enough, I'm gonna go for my heavy attack, okay? Now you need, I believe, 20 of the debuffs to shoot up to the special three, okay? Now, of course, use the relic if you have a relic attached uh, to gore, but I'm not gonna do that for the, for the purpose of this video. But as you can see, Winter Soldier is draining very, very fast, our shadow magic buffs all of them none of them have fallen off and now we're going for a special three here and winter soldier is going to be flushed right down the freaking toilet where he belongs dude so as you can see the stress factor of playing gore is gone and that was the issue with him man now that's a fun rotation that's like if you want to use all of his specials interact with this kit but a really fun rotation man is going full out special three and it's actually a little bit faster believe it or not so what we're gonna do here is deal with the annoying ai on winter soldier as you can see it's very annoying because it kind of stands there but what we're gonna do here is we're gonna build up to special three we're gonna go light ending combo all the way to special three because the max stack limit of these shadow magic buffs is up to four now okay so now as you can see look again only halfway done on that initial bleed debuff so much nicer, man. Keep in mind, you can make this even better with synergies. The Mr. Fantastic synergy, Captain America Infinity War with Thor. Also, Thor just makes them two seconds longer in general, right? But if you combine Cap Infinity War with Thor, it's additional 25% longer. So yeah, there's a lot of potential to like really extend these buffs. So now, three of each Shadow Magic buff. The special three is going to pause them for 12 seconds and stack on one additional one. Now we have four of each with a long pause and every medium medium combo, we're placing 12 debuffs. And now we can shoot up to another special three with a heavy attack, so check it out, okay? We have about 60 debuffs on us, man, on Mr. Soldier. This is crazy. This is a 75 debuffs at this point, right? We're gonna go for a heavy attack here. We're down to 60 debuffs only, oh my God. Now we're gonna go for the special three. He's at 50% health, all right? And let's see where this finishes, uh, finishes off here. Oh my goodness gracious, from 50% health, we are going to be doing a 238k special three. And unfortunately, if we did one more medium medium combo, he would have been dead. But look at the damage there, man. Now, here's the thing. That's kind of what he looked like a little bit with a full synergy team. Now he looks like that on his own which is great and yes please keep in mind this is a rank four okay um so yeah the damage is a little bit more increased but if it's a rank three the damage is still gonna be pretty darn good now with the sig ability here if he's at a higher sig the personal damaging debuff duration is increased by um up to four seconds so i really don't think it's necessary as you can see this is sig 20 I might give him SIGs just because like why the heck not you know just one of my favorite comic characters so it, why why not SIGs you know it's they kind of grow on trees nowadays if you play battlegrounds but also I might not because it just seems very unnecessary you know um but there's also ways to maximize this even more, right? This is that synergy team I was talking about. Let's talk about what they do really quick. So Thor increases the shadow magic duration by two seconds. Mr. Fantastic and Angela, every time you hit, you're gonna pause all of your buffs for 0.2 seconds. And then just Cap Infinity War and Thor are going to just increase your cosmic champion's buff durations by 25%. So um, obviously all five of these champions are good. It's a good team but it's just unnecessary at this point. It was kind of necessary to do like this in the past, um, but he can kind of do this like without them now, which is nice. Maybe not the fury buff stacking, but what's so great about this is we, we've seen the, the ramp up so many times now, but 
as you can see, these Fury buffs, they can stack. And we are using the Relic here because, you know, of the Limbro and everything, just to get that easy access to the stun, which is nice. But yeah, um, the Fury buffs stack. So when you increase their duration by 25% and you also make it... Um, uh, pause for 0.2 seconds when you're hitting the opponent it's very easy to stack those fury buffs up and the more you stack those fury buffs up the more damage you're gonna be doing on those 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 damaging debuffs right and just on your hits in general so here we have 12 fury buffs up on star lord we have a lot of shadow magic buffs and this guy is melting at a really fast rate look at all of the red numbers that are just ticking this guy down like it's nothing like it's nothing right we're pausing with the special well i'm not gonna watch the whole fight but as you can see man he's he's kind of he's kind of melted here he's kind of melted here there's a lot of red numbers this guy has 3.3 million health right so um i do want to show you just how potent that special three rotation could be just from the debuffs so here against deadpool again uh, i build up to three of each shadow magic buff no synergies here just gore by himself right i haven't put any debuffs on deadpool we're just gonna go for the special three here to put an additional stack and pause them all okay so four of each which is the max stack limit here and um yeah check it out so four of each debuff every time we do a medium medium and as you can see he he is melting pretty fast and the more we stack the faster he melts and he is melting very fast now go for the the special three i mean like he's melting and those things are stacking up they are stacking up they stack pretty darn fast man now let's say you wanted to use this guy right we jumped in like the, the side quest here the mojo side quest just move on to the left this is like you know rotations are great you know saying you got to play this champion like this it's the ideal way to play him that's all well and good that's great right but at the end of the day sometimes it doesn't always work out so sometimes you just gotta like how does he work in a fight i went into the fight i did it one time this is how it's gonna go i'm gonna go for my light ending combos here i'm gonna fight this drax and what i typically do when i play with gore right what i'm gonna how i'm gonna use him is i'm gonna usually build up to two of each and i'm gonna be going for my medium medium combos okay my medium medium combos medium light medium combos stack on the debuffs okay i don't know why i'm getting some lag there sorry about that right and then what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go for the special three after i stack on a bunch of debuffs because that's going to do a lot of damage and as you can see that killed him he had 200,000 health now my plan here my plan was to go for the special three okay and then heavy attack out of it to go up to another special three but that's a really fun way to play him as well so let's take a look earlier on this was like the first time i tried out the post buff uh gorier I, I had suicides on still he's not the most suicide friendly champion as you can see right but i jumped in against captain marvel this is how i often use him where i i, I put on some debuffs i go for the special three right i pause my debuffs i gain an additional stack all right i keep stacking them on i let the damage over time tick the opponent down and then i like to go for the heavy attack and i like to go for the kill with it so that is definitely not like the most ideal rotation i don't think compared to others but as you can see right here from 44 percent health on captain marvel she's just gonna be flushed right down the toilet man she's flushed she's done she she's gone for good baby so yeah, man, that, that's post buff gore. Now, of course, keep in mind, again, all these numbers are rank four. I can't rank them down. So it kind of is what it is. Um, but yeah, a rank three gore is gonna have very decent numbers as well. The biggest thing here with this buff is that it made his, his shadow magic buffs longer. That's what he needed. That is absolutely what he needed. Um, I don't think that his debuffs need to be too much longer. And if you want them to be longer, you could put SIGs into him. It could be over two seconds longer. And that's a big difference there. So this guy is now much improved in my opinion. He's been decent in Battlegrounds as it is. I think he's going to be really amazing in Battlegrounds now. This was a very good buff for Gore in my opinion. I think they did a very, very solid job fixing the major pain points of this guy. Unfortunately, he still doesn't heal from willpower in my opinion. That's a very big negative to this guy. Um, but at the same time, it kind of is what it is, you know, you can use him with suicides, I'd recommend you don't, but it just sucks because, like, you know, non-damaging debuffs, they, they, they're great for healing from willpower, so Gore doesn't get that, um, 
the potential there. But that's okay at the end of the day. It's not a deal breaker, obviously, for the champion. As you can see, he's he's quite good when it comes to damage now. And the utility kind of speaks for itself. The undermine buff is really good against, you know, Penny Parker and auto block champions. You just keep doing light ending combos. Even at stick 20, they'll never auto block you right and you got the uh the, the the poison for acid watch the bleed for do you bleed you got the um the shock for thunderstruck lots of you know debuffs for uh for, for diff track you got buffs for buffed up lots of utility on this guy he's got the damage as well he's no longer stressful to play really good buff the only thing that would have made it better is if he can now heal from willpower but he can't that's okay not the end of the world um overall great buff very happy to have this guy at rank four very happy he's usable in the game and that's gonna be it for this one i hope you enjoyed it if you did drop your boy a big old like let me know what you think about this gore buff in the comment section below and make sure you hit the subscribe button so you don't miss the america chavez video i'm going to make i am not as well versed in america chavez as i am a gore so i'm gonna have to work on that one for a little bit but regardless it's coming to you soon i'll be seeing you around